Welcome back to Celtics Media Day. We are joined now by Romeo Langford. Romeo, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we were able to cover you when you were in Vegas uh, for Summer League. How was how was that experience for you and, and just the off season in general? Uh, it was a good off season, a good time at Ve- in Vegas Summer League. Uh, it was just nice to be able to get back on the court and just play play a little bit more than I would have during the season last year. And um, I felt like uh, me and the guys that came to Summer League, I felt like we all got better and uh, made uh, good strides leading into training camp. Do you think getting an opportunity to go through Summer League and, and kind of gel more also just kind of helps you play a little more freely out there and getting those meaningful minutes? Yeah, um, I feel like Summer League was just an opportunity just for all of us, uh, including myself, to be able to play more freely and uh, do other things that um, we normally probably wouldn't do during the season. And, and that just helps with confidence and uh I feel like that's just the main thing just in the NBA and going through this season is just confidence, and I feel like some really uh, helped that. Well, R- Romeo, it's crazy to think about this, but we just acknowledged it before we came on live. You said this is only your second media day, but also this year is going to be the first time that you've been able to play in summer league and have a full training camp in your NBA career. That's big time. I mean, that can really help you to shift um, in the right direction and accomplish what you want to accomplish. How are you feeling um, knowing that you're going to, you have that summer league experience in your back pocket, and now you're going to have a full training camp to continue to work toward where you want to get to? Yeah, um, it just this summer just huge for me to be able to be healthy and uh, do do a whole summer just working out and doing uh, summer league because uh, it's my first summer league and this um, this training camp will be my first training camp too. So um, just having those two things checked off and um, being able to be healthy and having this long period of time without any injuries and just getting better is just very huge for me because I really haven't had that in a in a long time since. Yeah. Uh, college going into college really yeah I don't think people understand how difficult that is as a young player to just kind of be thrown in in the middle of the season and try to find your rhythm as opposed to having a full training camp and whatnot like it's difficult Um, and so I'm I'm really happy for you that you're going to have that opportunity this year thank you it's going to take you to a new new level no question no and it's probably a a different mindset too Mm -hmm. for you and that was something I know that we talked before you know with injuries and stuff and, and going through that how did that maybe make you a little bit stronger mentally, having to go through that, knowing what to expect, but now being able to put it behind you fully? Yeah, um, really, I mean, it was tough just uh, going through those those uh, setbacks a lot early early on in my career. Um, but I do feel like that just helped me out mentally, um, helped me just be prepared and be more resilient when things aren't going my way. And I feel like nothing's really gone my way uh, my whole career so far, but that's in the past and really can't uh, dwell on that because if I dwell on that, I won't make any any steps or any get, and get better. And um, now I'm just looking forward to this this time um, being on a training camp and uh, just get better and not being like thrown in, as you said, uh, thrown in and just trying to find my way and um, being able to just be with the guys and build bonds and build relationships and chemistry with them early on instead of uh, just in the middle of the year being able to play have a little bit of a rhythm, which yeah. is kind of important in this game, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Speaking of rhythm, everyone's favorite topic with you is the shot. Uh, the what, what type of rhythm are you feeling with your shot right now? Oh, yeah. That's what everyone wants to know about, right? Yeah. You're, you're laughing right now because you know every, that's what everyone talks about and asks. Yeah. So, no, yeah, just curious to see where you feel um, from a rhythm standpoint with your shot right now. Uh, I feel great. Um, I mean, I just, just, I'm still working, working on it. Uh, I feel great. I felt like I shot it pretty well in the summer league. Mm-hmm. Uh, got to shoot just freely without thinking too much about it um, in the games because, like, last year in my rookie year when I got in the game, I thought a lot about it because I probably got, like, one shot, and that's, mm-hmm. like, my first shot of the whole year. And if I miss it or make it, but uh, something really helped me get my confidence back with that, and I'm just continuing to work on it, and I feel good about it. Hey, after that game winner, I mean, I, you should be brewing confidence with that three-point yeah. shot, right? That was That was a great play. I love yeah, watching that. Yeah, you mentioned confidence. Where would you say your confidence level is at now heading into training camp and in this upcoming season? Uh, I mean, my confidence is high right now. Um, just based off the work I've just put in this whole summer and, and uh, in summer league, so it's, it's real high right now. So we, we all know that you can make plays for others. You can make plays for yourself. You're really good with the ball in your hands. What type of role do you expect to play on this team? Um, is it more ball handling or do you think it's going to be more off the ball? 
I mean, I don't know. Honestly. Too early to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really focused on that. I just, just whenever, whatever is my role, I just do the best I, I can at that, and uh, whatever it takes to help the team win. So. Well, any questions? Come? No, and I don't no think Twitter. we have any Twitter questions. We have fans writing in, but um, no Twitter questions yet. So if you guys do want to send in your questions, use the hashtag Celtics Media Day for that. So. We'll take as many as we can. <laughs> uh, Romeo, when you look at this roster, um, there, there's a lot more veteran experience than there was last season, but there's also some young guys uh, who can still play, and that's you, uh, Aaron, uh, Peyton. Uh, what do you like about this mix that you guys have of kind of the older players, there's a little bit in between, and then there's also some younger players in the mix as well? Yeah, I feel like we just have a little bit of everything, um, especially guys we picked up this off season, And then the returning guys, like the young guys like me, uh, Peyton, Aaron, um, and Grant. But I just feel like just those those uh, veterans that we we uh, we picked up and Al, Dennis, Josh, all the guys that's been there have done done a lot in their careers in the NBA. They all been through like different things and they mm-hmm. can bring different things to the table that we probably uh, wouldn't have got gotten if they weren't on our team. And I just feel like it's going to be a good year for us. Practice is going to be wild. I mean, <laughs> like ones versus two. Like there's going to be some great games going on. I wish I could sit down on those this year, but. We'll have to ask you about those down the road. Romeo, thank you so much for your time. We're looking forward to training camp tomorrow. Thanks, Romeo.